hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we will be looking at another question from IIT jam mathematical statistics paper 2021 this is a numerical answer type question and this is a one mark question so here they are asking if alpha beta and gamma are given to be the three eigenvalues for this matrix m this is given to us right then they are saying if gamma is exactly equal to 1 so one of the eigenvalues is, is known to us a priori and moreover they are saying the greater of the two eigenvalues that is alpha alpha is greater than beta that is also given to us then they are saying what is the value of this quantity 2 times alpha plus 3 th times beta so we have to evaluate alpha and beta in order to calculate this quantity so basically what do we require for the solution we firstly have to calculate the eigenvalues of uh, the matrix M. So you know the eigenvalues of the matrix M. The eigenvalues of the matrix M are calculated using the characteristic equa equation. They are calculated using characteristic equation and what is that characteristic equation that is m the given matrix minus lambda times the identity matrix its determinant equal to 0 right so uh, let's calculate this thing what is your m your m is 0 1 0 1 3 3 then minus 1 2 and 2 this is the given matrix m right minus lambda times the identity matrix so it is lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 0 0 lambda right when we subtract them we have to take its determinant and then substitute it equal to 0 right so let's solve this one so it is basically minus lambda then 1 and 0 then 1 then 3 minus lambda 3 and then it's minus 1 2 then 2 minus lambda so we have to uh, calculate its determinant here so we can very easily calculate its determinant and equate it it is equal to 0 so it is equal to minus lambda times 3 minus lambda multiplied with 2 minus lambda minus 6 this is the first quantity the second quantity is minus 1 then we have 2 minus lambda plus 3 with us and the last entry is 0 so no need to write that one and so this thing is basically equal to 0 so we can solve this after calculating and solving this thing you will be obtaining a quadratic equation not a, co a cubic equation which is minus lambda cube plus 5 lambda square plus lambda minus 5 equal to 0 so this is the cubic equation so one root is already known to us that is gamma is equal to 1 so basically as gamma is equal to 1 uh, it is given to us so that means lambda minus 1 is a factor of the above polynomial right why because 1 root is already known to us in the form of eigenvalue which is gamma is equal to 1 so if gamma is equal to 1 or you could say lambda is equal to 1 so you have lambda minus 1 as one of the factor of this polynomial so we could very easily divide uh, this polynomial by lambda minus 1 so let me divide the given polynomial in order to find out what is the remaining polynomial so it is uh, minus lambda square right you have minus lambda cube and then you have plus lambda square so you could solve this one it is plus it is minus they cancel each other and it is 4 lambda square plus lambda minus 5 so here you have plus 4 lambda right so you have 4 lambda square and here you have plus 4 lambda right so this is minus and uh, sorry this this one is also minus here because we are multiplying 4 lambda with minus 1 so it is minus 4 lambda so this is minus and this is plus so this thing cancels out with each other so you have 5 lambda minus 5 and then finally you have plus 5 so this would give you 5 lambda minus 5 
so on changing sign you'll see both of them cancels and your remainder is zero so basically you could write your given polynomial uh, which was minus lambda cube right plus 5 lambda square minus 5 plus lambda as equal to the com product of two polynomials one one polynomial is, is lambda minus one another one is minus lambda square plus four lambda plus five right now we are equating both of them as equal to zero so that means either so either you have lambda minus one as equal to zero or you have minus lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 5 that is equal to 0. So this basically gives lambda is equal to 1 as 1 root which is obviously known to us and for the second one we have to solve this quadratic equation. So you know how to solve this quadratic equation you know the discriminant formula so lambda would be obtained by using minus b so the coefficient here is a the coefficient here is b the coefficient here is c right so that means you have lambda is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square that is 4 square that is 16 minus 4 times of a into c right divided by 2 into a so you can solve this thing so it is minus 4 plus minus square root of 36 right divided by minus 2 so this lambda here is equal to minus 4 plus minus 6 divided by minus 2 so this is equal to what 2 plus minus or it is minus plus 3 divided by uh, not not divided by yeah that's it so it is equal to when you solve this thing you have one root as 2 minus 3 another root as 2 plus 3 so it is equal to minus 1 and 5 so you have the value of lambda as equal to minus 1 and 5 so here you also you are given in the question that um, we are given that lambda is greater than beta so that means lambda is your 5 uh, this alpha is your 5 and beta is equal to minus 1 so you have the values of these two quantities so in the question the you are asking what is the value of 2 alpha plus uh, 3 beta so this is uh, what we wanted to calculate here so your alpha here is 5 and your beta here is minus 1 so you could solve this expression 10 minus 3 so the answer here is 7 so this is the answer so for the answer to this question here you can write is 7 so i hope you understood this question well well that is it for this video thank you for watching